Hi. <laughs> I know I said I would, well, try not to do solar roadways. I shouldn't have to do solar roadways again. But it's the lol that keeps on giving. I couldn't pass this up. This is hilarious. Um, <laughs> of course, we're not talking about the new, Fre the Colas Watway, the French one, or the Netherlands one, or the new Chinese one, which we'll take a quick look at at the end. Um, no, we're talking about the original, the genuine solar roadways from the Brusaurs in the US. Solar freaking roadways, because it does so much. <laughs> not just, it's not just a solar roadway, but it's intelligent. Hex hexagonal interlocking units or some bullshit. Um, it's got lead lights for line and signage, and but the big claim to fame is that it remains snow and ice free. And there it is, powering the thing. Um, and they've got internal heaters in these things. Never have to shovel snow off your driveway or your road ever again. Right, that's the promise, and of course there were articles galore about this, you know, would snap snow and ice, and fantastic, oh, they just shoveled money at the Brusaurs to develop this thing, everyone was goo-goo about it, and, well, what's the reality? Oh! <laughs> Here it is <laughs> at night. You can still see some of the leads on here. Oh my goodness. Look at it. <laughs> it's, trust me, there's a solar roadway under there, even though they've never ever, <laughs> single cars never driven on this thing. And <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> but realize that the only thing here that's not covered with snow is the control the top of the like the very top of the display unit on the control box is covered in what a foot of snow or something but the only thing that's not covered is the top of the box here which has the electronics in it the power supplies to power all the bloody leds because the solar panels aren't generating any power <laughs> because a it's night time <laughs> B, they're covered in snow. <laughs> snow. <laughs> and the box is probably getting so warm on top from powering all the leads that nobody can see that, <laughs> that it's melted the snow on top of the control box. <laughs> oh, oh, please, someone stop me. Anyway, it gets funnier. <laughs> Thanks to um, Stephen Harrison on Twitter, he captured this from the, <laughs> from once again, the lol that keeps on giving, which is the webcam for the <laughs> solar roadways. He captured, look, none other than, I'm sure it's our good friends, the Brusaurs, um, out there at eight o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> shove because who else would be out there shoveling snow off the solar roadways at eight o'clock at night a male and female couple it's got to be the brusaurs good on them you know commitment to their project no worries <laughs> they're shoveling the, sh the snow off their s <laughs> I <laughs> there they are but of course at the end of it all You've got to take your selfie down here. You've got to take, oh, you've got to, not selfie, you've got to take a photo <laughs> for your Facebook page or whatever to look how snow-free it is because we just shuffled it off. <laughs> I, oh, my goodness. I, I won't bother to go through the calculations on why it's just a demonstrably ridiculous idea to try and heat up roads to melt the snow. I, I understand that maybe in some circumstances you could actually do this, like maybe in some of the Nordic regions that have lots of geothermal, you could maybe pump the water under the uh, pump, you know, the hot spring water or whatever under the roads, and maybe that's effective, but doing it with electricity is just ridiculous. And I don't have to do it because um, Thunderfoot has already done the calculations on this, so we'll We'll let that one roll. Look, it's not exactly rocket science to understand that if it was cheaper to melt snow rather than just to move it to the side of the road, then we would use flamethrowers for snow removal, not snow plows. And the reason we don't do that is because it is much cheaper just to move the snow to the side of the road. 
Look, it's not even a matter of a discussion. It's simple thermodynamics. You know, that conservation of energy stuff we were going over earlier. If you want to turn one kilogram of ice at freezing point into one kilo of water at freezing point, it requires about 300 kilojoules per kilogram. And according to the Department of Transport stats, the typical place in America gets, say, 13 centimeters of snow, which is the equivalent of about 1.3 centimeters of ice. We know the target road area, and therefore we can calculate how much ice there is to melt. And therefore, we know how much power is needed to melt that ice. Therefore, we can calculate the electricity bill using cheap electricity. Oh yeah, you're right. Two billion really doesn't sound very cheap. I've got a great idea for saving money. Let's replace it with a system that if it was 100% efficient would cost five billion dollars per year. And that's ignoring the fact that these solar panels will be in the northern part of America where there isn't much sunlight. In the winter, where there's even less sunlight, and they're going to be covered in snow, which means they're not going to generate any bloody power to melt the snow. <laughs> Their website isn't done with making. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, Thunderfoot. Um, seriously, like, to the idea of melting these roads is like uh, heating up roads to melt the ice is just demonstrably ridiculous absolutely ridiculous anyway um yes i am very aware of the recent news as many people have pointed out thank you that china are now they've installed what a two kilometer they've beat the french one they've installed a two kilometer stretch of road in the Jinnan province in uh, china and it opened to traffic on december 28 uses transparent concrete um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with transparent concrete? Well, it's going to have the same transmissive losses as the Colas Watway one. It looks very similar, in fact, to the Colas Watway one. Did they steal a key to the uh, patent office there? Um, anyway, <laughs> what is what will be the result of this thing? As far as I know, there's no numbers yet, but if you've got numbers, point them out. But you can bet your bottom dollar we've seen it in... Uh, the solar roadway, solar freaking roadways test results. We've seen it in the Netherlands, um, solarroad.nl uh, test results. And we've seen it in the uh, French Colas Watway test results as well. It is just like, I think uh, my conclusion last time was that it's 30 times less efficient or something. Like a dollars per watt, watt for like, it's just, it's going to be exactly the same result for the Chinese solar roadway so like they keep trying but you can beat the laws of physics captain um sorry it's it's just not possible and you know i people keep pointing out that uh, the solar roadways fanboys they're still out there and they keep pointing out that oh but like give it a chance what if you know it at least it's better than uh, returning some energy is better than none well, no, as I said here, sometimes, just sometimes, a new solution is not actually needed. Just go with what works. So when we've covered all of the uh, parking lots, and in some cases what they're doing in South Korea, you can cover the roadways, um, or put in the middle of the roadway, uh, solar panels elevated up, or the sides of the roadways. When we've covered all the parking spaces and all the rooftops with uh, solar panels, because and solar farms, if you've got a tracking one, then it's probably going to be that efficient. But until we've covered all the roofs and all the parking lots in existence, then we'll talk about solar railways. Until then, forget it. Catch you next time.